Um, I can't see that far into the darkness. You can see how dark it is, but there was a round of applause just a few moments ago coming from that area, and I'm talking like 30 seconds ago coming from that area, and I'm talking like 30 seconds ago we heard some applause from that area. So uh, that's the only thing I can tell you that's changed. Other than that, it has been deathly quiet out here waiting uh, for some word of what's taking place in there. Well, we have uh, Private Investigator Tom Shamshack on hand here with us here in the studio, and law enforcement of sources. Yeah. And right now, I'm going to go out to Jared Holbrook. We'll stand by here, Tom. We're going to go to Jared Holbrook. Jared? Because we heard uh, the police officer saying, suspect in custody, suspect in custody. And I reached over to a law enforcement source of mine, and I said, did you get him? And he says, we got him. And he, with a big smile and a thumbs up, he says, we got him. So well, Jared, it's amazing. That, to that is him. wonderful news, Jared. And that was something that Tom Shamshack was about to tell me moments ago. But you actually had it right there for us, and we appreciate that. But the suspect is indeed in custody. And uh, we thank Evan Goodman, by the way, the neighbor who was with us on the phone, who, who had uh, provided all those details about what led up to it today. Again, the suspect is in custody. This is suspect number two, we believe, from the Boston Marathon bombings on Monday. Uh, the younger brother of suspect one, who perished in a shootout last night with police. Again, a tense scene just wrapping up at 67 Franklin Street. Uh, as, as we watch the ambulance drive away, which we assume possibly suspect number two is in that ambulance going away. He is under arrest. Uh, big smiles and the cops. We, ha are, are we heard there was a lot of applause. This has been a long investigation. Uh, the day has been incredible with 20 shots fired, explosions, and a suspect holed up at 67 Franklin Street. A hostage negotiator came on scene, and moments later we heard there was an arrest. Exactly right. The moment tonight where everyone cheered, and you can imagine the exhale in Watertown tonight, and indeed all of Boston and Massachusetts, and really across the country to know that the second suspect has been taken into custody. And uh, this is the ambulance leaving now. We understood he was injured. We were told that he had, obviously, uh, injuries that were, uh, we don't know if they were life-threatening or not, but that he was definitely compromised. They found him in the boat tonight. They surrounded him. They sent in a robot. They ultimately decided, you know, it was time for himself to give up, and he did. That is right. Suspect number two, if you are just turning on right now, suspect number two has been arrested after a long negotiation and a stand-up outside of Franklin Street in Watertown. Let's go to Bob Ward. And Mark. What a great moment, huh? That applause. We knew that applause had to signify something, and it did. Um, Jared Holbrook getting it confirmed. I also got a confirm from one of the law enforcement out there saying that he is in custody. Bob, wow, that's just tremendous news, and what a, a relief for everyone in the state of Massachusetts, as I said earlier, and, and certainly for people like the victims' families and, and who lost so much, people who lost limbs and everything else, to know that these two perpetrators are off the streets. And I, 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 would, know, I, would, I would talk to you more about this in a moment, but I want to see if we can bring in Jared Holbrook. And Jared, did you have a chance to sure. see inside that ambulance at all? Uh, we saw the ambulance pass by, and then it's been stationary for a long time. We haven't seen it go back by, but, Mark, I'll tell you, I was sitting there listening to, uh, watching some home video that somebody shot uh, right next. Okay, I'm, let me interrupt here. I'm hearing applause from the crowd right now, applause from the crowd. Everybody's screaming, yay. They're excited that the suspect has been in custody here. Now, I was sitting here watching some home video of... Uh, somebody shot on their cell phone right next to where the gunshots were going off, right there. And our friend Paul from earlier talking about the, the series of gunshots, I heard them on this home video. He was not exactly. Jared, let me just interrupt it you. Boston police have confirmed this as well. Just want to, I don't think it, uh, we can say this over too many times, certainly. We're getting a number of confirmations now from all different types of people, and people need to hear that to be reassured that, in fact, this suspect number two is in custody. And, and they can